videos at nearlyheadless.com. Hi, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you some freeware for a new upcoming free software series I'll be doing. If you don't know what freeware is, it's basically free software, sometimes known as open source software, which means the coding of the software is open for anyone to download and alter to create new features and so on. Basically, the idea behind it is that it's community, community driven instead of produced by a profit making company. Keep in mind though, not all freeware is open source and if you wish to unlock all the features the company will try and encourage you to buy a pro license but it's a completely voluntary option so you don't need to worry about that and I wouldn't show you something that doesn't have good features on a free license anyway. So the software I will be reviewing today is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. As you can probably tell it's an antivirus suite very similar to suites like Norton Antivirus, McAfee Internet Security and so on. The big difference between those virus suites and this one is it's a free virus suite. In some ways it can be better than even the paid suites. For example, where this software differs from its competition in my opinion is in its virus definitions. I have had several occasions where McAfee has missed a virus in this case I got infected by adware and I had to download malware bytes to get rid of the virus because McAfee didn't even know it existed. Uh, it was really quite a tricky virus especially for someone like me who at best is just about competent uh, on a computer. Um, the problem was the virus kept shutting me out of the internet and wouldn't let me open any programs and so on. So I had to use a program called Rkill in combination with Malwarebytes to get rid of it. But uh, that's a different story altogether and uh, I may cover that in another video. Anyway, back to the matter in hand. So to sum up the good things about Malwarebytes is it's a good light program that's quick and gets updated regularly and of course most importantly it's free. Keep in mind though the free version doesn't have real-time scanning so if you're not going to upgrade and want to be completely protected um, for free you may want to use this in combination with AVG or Avast which I will probably be doing reviews on in the future. Now I'm going to go through a few features of Malwarebytes so you can see what they have to offer. Uh, here we have the scan options. We have quick scan, full scan, which I suggest you use if you know you have a virus on your computer. Um, this is flash scan. Uh, you can only get that on the pro license. The next page here is a comparison between the free version and the full version and also now you can uh, test out a free 14 day trial of the full bit, of the full license um, that is if you haven't already decided to do so when you first downloaded it also should you be interested the pro version is $25 or £16 if you're from the UK on the next page uh, we have manual downloads although when you open the program it will probably uh, update automatically but keep in mind it won't download updates automatically in the background unless you have a paid version so if you want to keep a good protection database you will need to open the program on a regular basis right here we have quarantine where the viruses will go when detected so you can decide how to manage them if you're not sure whether to delete them or not in case it will affect programs or files you want to keep. Here we have logged information about things detected in scans. Uh, next is the ignore list where you can stop the scanner and the protection suite 
from checking and deleting programs or files that uh, come up as a threat when you know that they're safe. Uh, this is the settings page that has settings for all sorts of things. Uh, language, uh, we have scanner settings, update settings and so on. Next we have file assassin. To be honest I'm not quite sure what this does. I think it's similar to Arkill and in that it stops malicious scripts from locking you out of programs. But I'm not sure as it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't there when I first downloaded Malwarebytes and I've not tried it out since. However, if you do know what it does, uh, please leave a comment so I can put the information in the description box at a later date. And then it's just a link to the Malwarebytes homepage and help page. So it's a good program, but not a perfect program. But to be fair, you get what you pay for and seeing as it's free it's a pretty good deal so i hope this was helpful and uh, i will be doing another quick video about where it's downloaded from and how to download it um just in case you were wondering malwarebytes doesn't have any viruses or spyware in it as that would pretty much just defeat the object of its existence um, anyway, I hope this was useful. If so, uh, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.